Yo, what it do, guys? It's your boy, Leon Mookie, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Can Summon Idolans from Final Fantasy 13. This is part three. In the last part, I focused on Izuku training for the UA entrance exam and also, well, tra meeting Mei Hatsune, who also plans on going to UA for the support course. During this time, the two actually made a deal with Izuku helping her out getting, well, parts for her support devices being her babies. And while Izuku continued doing his training at the beach as well by cleaning it up. While getting close with Hatsune, he also prepared for the UA entrance exam, showing off his skills with, with Mob's weapon transformation function. Gaining enough points just to get into the hero course, not trying to get the top score or anything like that. However, he showed off the power of his idolins, especially Odin, in his horse form by saving Ochako, showing the power of Izuku Midoriya. So, with that said, let's get into this, shall we guys? Also, remember when I said I got to get up to at least that of a... Well, go for views and likes. So, just like before, if this video can get up to at least, well, 800 views alongside that of, well, 50 likes, I'll start the next chat. I'll start the next. I'll continue the series as a mainstay series. Also, I can also tell you guys on which one this, which, which one this series is replacing. That being, what if Izuku had the powers of Cloud Strife. That is the series that I'm replacing this this one with, given that nobody actually looks at it and cares about it. It was either that, or what if Izuku had Luger's powers? And I'm biased when it comes to the Tales of series, so yeah. At any rate, let's get into this, and remember that like goal. 800 views and 50 likes. That's the goal for this video. So, with that said, Let's get into this once again, guys. Izuku Midoriya continues basically relaxing on his bed, not even bothered training, given that his idolins want him to just rest and relax before getting the letter, the letter of acceptance from UA, with Izuku messaging Hatsume, with her saying that he still, still, still hasn't got his her acceptance letter yet, alongside Izuku. With Izuku wanting to tell her that she, most likely she got in, Yue would be stupid not to let somebody of her of her caliber as a genius and an inventor into Yue. With seeing this message, Hatsume couldn't help but blush, but with that of a big dopey grin on her on her face. With her soon messaging, trying to well cheer up Izuku, with her saying, "Then it'd be the same thing." Given that you have a b awesome quirk such as yours, who wouldn't want to? Who they would be? UA would be ridiculous not to accept you as well. But then Izuku basically had his eyes open before realizing that he he only used Odin. He didn't really use any of the other idolins for the entrance exam. It was only until the end when he started to use Odin. With soon. Izuku messaging that with her saying, seriously? Wow, you really know how to waste things, don't you, Midoriya? I hope you don't do the same thing to my babies if you ask when we go to UA together. With then Izuku actually blushing at this message, saying, wait, going together? T like, together? Together? With then he shaking his head saying, no, no, no. It's not like that. Far from it. That's not, that's not what me, May means. It's just us hey, basically work going to UA together, just as friends, nothing more. As he tries laughing it off, with many of his idolins being the Shiva sisters, Odin and Brynhildr, couldn't help but feel like they need to facepalm, as Izuku denying his affinity. His feelings for May, of course. But then soon, Inko actually coming through his door, 
with her basically frantically scattering around the on around the floor with Isaac saying, Mom, Mom, what's going on? With her saying, you got a letter. It's from UA. With Izuku's eyes widening, hearing this. Within him grabbing the letter as he messages May that he just got his letter from UA. A couple minutes later, Izuku is in his room in the dark with only, well, his, well, de- desk light actually lighting his room. With him thinking, so, this is the moment of time. As he messaged May that he got his letter, and he'll message her back or call her if that he got in. With that, he soon opens up the letter and sees a small hologram pat disc in it. With soon it comes out, the, the, vi- the hologram screen shows All Might in, his, in, a white, in a yellow suit with his trademark smile as always. But then Izuku actually freaked out saying, uh, uh, All Might? But how? Saying, I am here to give you the results of your entrance exam report. And Izuku Midoriya, I have to say, you've done well in the written portion of the exam and has done, and you've done amazingly. If anything, you have reached at least in the top five of the, of the written portion. So for that, congratulations. This qualifies you to be part of the general studies course. But then hearing this, Izuku couldn't help but sigh of relief. But what about saying, but as for the hero course, you gained up to at least 44 points. That enough would get you into the hero course, actually. It only apply, it would only get you at least in the top 15, which would be enough to act, which enough applicants would be in for the, for UA. Within hearing that, Izuku couldn't help but have his eyes closed and have his fists in the air saying, Yes, I did it. I did it. All that training, all that hard work, everything that the, that the three, that Shiva, Nyx, Odin, and Brunhilde have done for me, all worth it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Within Shiva saying, I don't think it's over yet, Izuku. Keep wa- keep watching. Saying, however, there was more to the exam than just that of defeating villains and robots. There was more to it. A hero doesn't just defeat villains and take down and take down the bad guys. They also save lives, protect people, and help those in need. You Throughout the entirety of the exam, without just destroying robots, you supported those who were struggling in the exam as well, fighting back, fighting alongside them, or L- or giving them aid to take down a robot. It's that, it's what's that the most important, and your greatest feat of all, saving that girl from the zero pointer. The main portion of the zero pointer is to see if anybody is willing to defeat it or is willing to save somebody in danger of it. That is the true aspect of the exam. And the judge and it's the judges that decide on how many points are given for the exam to saving so many people. With all the people that you had helped and aided during the exam during the exam in the first half, you would you would have had at least up to that of 25 rescue points. However, Saving young Uraka, you were able to gain even more than that. You gained at least up to 70 rescue points. Adding that to your already 25 rescue points, that gains you up to at least 95 rescue points. And add that to your 44, you have, with Izuku cutting all my off saying, I have 139 points. That gives me the top score in the entrance exam. With then seeing Izuku score all all around. With that, he gains the top score in the entrance exam. Even beating All Might's previous record. With soon, Izuku saying, I even beat All Might's record. I, I did it. I got in. I'm going to UA. 
All right. With him cheering, screaming, and even telling his mom that he's getting into UA before dialing up his phone and soon calling Hatsume within telling her that he's going to UA. He's going to become a hero. Hearing that, she couldn't help but feel happy for her new friend. With soon, a couple days have now passed. With then, both Izuku and even Bakugo were called by their homeroom teacher after school. Basically wanting to congratulate them on making it to UA. With, as he expected this from Bakugo, of course. But he was surprised seeing Izuku getting into UA. Mostly because none of the teachers have actually seen him use his idolins, so they still thought he was quirkless. But even but even after that, it doesn't really matter to him. He's glad to see that two of his students from Aldera Junior High were able to make it to UA. As for Bakugo, he's frustrated, clenching his fist in that of frustration and annoyance. But then Izuku couldn't have that of a fake smile, basically saying, Of course, sir. Thank you for congratulating me. I appreciate it, especially everything that you've done for me. With him bowing his head, saying, Now, if you excuse me, I have to go. With soon, Izuku leaves the teacher's office, with Bakugo gritting his teeth, clenching his fist hard, and then his red eyes basically glaring the red eyes of, mur of bloody murder towards Izuku. Within Izuku walking off the campus of the school, trying to get back home. However, he can hear multiple explosions being sent forward behind him. Within looking backwards, he sees Bakugo basically having that of, of pure white eyes and that of a face of pure unadulterated rage with soon but ba Bakugo tries to hit Izuku with a powerful explosion with then Izuku was already prepared for it but then because he already has Mog on him as it being snow's coat white coats with the with the symbol on his back being that of the of the heavenly archangel wings one of snow's most powerful weapons with then he he was able to he was able to tank the explosion pretty hard with that Bakugo was surprised and shocked as the coat as the coat basically took all the damage from Bakugo's explosion with Izuku coming out of the out of the smoke with not even a scratch on him or the coat with then Izuku saying Seriously, you're throwing a goddamn temper tantrum after I got not just got into UA, but also getting the top spot. But saying, you damn bastard, I swear to God, I would kill you if you ever go to UA. Saying, seriously, you're going to actually attack me. No, scratch that. Attempt to murder me because I'm going to UA. Are you serious? Do you not understand what a hero truly is if you're just going to just... Flat out attack me, saying, shut the hell up, you damn Deku. I said I was the only one going to UA from this dead end school. I'm the only one who's supposed to be the number one hero. I'm the one that's supposed to be on top. Not you. Not a worthless piece of shit like you. With that, Yuzuk saying, you know what? I'm done. With soon, Buck is saying, what? I'm done. I thought that you would be, you would actually grow up for once and stop trying to look down on me or other people. But that praise, that, that overachieving praise that you got, it, got when we were kids, the ego that everybody keeps on, the ego you have about yourself, and that very definition to believe that you will always be on top, that a hero always went. I do believe in that mentality, that the strongest hero always wins. I'll always believe in that, but I can't believe in you anymore. I can't believe in somebody who continues looking down on others and continues to belittle others 
when they try to become stronger as well. I've become something more, Bakugo. I've become something stronger, Katsuki. I am better than you, Kachan. With that every word that Izuku says basically feels like a dagger to Bakugo's heart. As, however, instead of that of pain, pain of feeling like he's not being acknowledged, it's basically more unadulterated rage towards the greenette boy saying, I'll kill you! As he blasts towards Izuku. As for Izuku, he still stands right in place before he gets into that of a fighting stance. As he prepares, as he extends his right arm and pulls back his left arm with waiting for the perfect chance he soon, as Bakugo's explosion was close, was inches away from his body, but Izuku lands that of a powerful straight punch towards Bakugo's right arm. With that, it it basically shatters every bone in his hand. As for Izuku, he still didn't take any damage from the explosion even though it was quite powerful to actually send him flying backwards for a split second. Well, but not too far away, actually. However, this time, this commotion was actually seen not just by others, by the after-school clubs of Aldera Junior High, but also by the remaining teachers as well. As the debris from the explosion begins to clear with soon... Izuku is still not even phased with then Mog actually getting out of the coat out of the white coat with saying, So, Kupo, what should we do? With Bakugo screaming that of bl- bloody murder, saying, My head! My head! What the actual hell? You broke my head, you bastard! With saying, You lucky you got off easily. If I wanted to get serious, I could have broken something more. Hell, I could have broken, I could have brought out one of my idolins, but I choose not to. Because you want to know why? With Bakugo looking that at Izuku with the pure intent to kill and murder, with continued growling like that of a feral animal, saying, because you're not even worth my time. With hearing that, Bakugo felt like he was not stabbed by daggers this time, but basically ran through by that of a sword. With saying, you're not worth my time, and you'll never be worth my time. I've always idolized you when we were kids. I realized that's toxic. I realized I've always thought that you were my one true friend, even after everything that you've done to me. But honestly, that was being, that was again toxic. I never had any other friends, mostly because you either scared them away by beating them, or you rather made me feel like I only needed you, but you always belittled me every time I was around you. You always treated me like I was below, beneath you. Within, Bakugo's eyes continue widening after everything he's done to Izuku all these years saying but even so I never hated you until now I dis- I do despise you Bakugo but not because of all the things you've done to me I despise you because you're not what it means to be a hero you're not hero material if you continue having this attitude continue looking down on others continue thinking that you're superior among everybody I'm already aware that everybody in this world isn't born equal. We will never be born equal. But you don't need to be born equal. You just need to prove that you can be something more than what people have labeled you or basically have written you off as something else. That's what I've learned from people who actually genuinely care about me, who genuinely want the best for me, 
no matter what anyone says. So with this, once we go to UA, either if we're not in the same class or if we are, I will tell you this, don't ever, and I mean ever, look down on me again because I will continue growing stronger day in and day out. Not because I wanna prove I'm better than you, not because I wanna surpass you, because I want to. I want to continue improving myself. I want to continue improving to prove that those who supported me and cared and cared about me and helped me got me this far. Within hearing all of this, Bakugo couldn't help but focus on the one things that matter. That being people who supported him as he begins thinking that the very quirk that, he, that Izuku has that he wouldn't have gotten this strong with it if he didn't have help. But then him thinking that Izuku cheated, where he, Katsuki Bakugo, gotten stronger all by himself by working his quirk day in and day out and figuring out new ways to improve it. He only gotten this strong by asking for help, for asking for people to help to get to gain strength from others. The one thing that Bakugo will refuse. The one thing that he refuses to do anything for anyone. Saying, you bastard. The only reason you got this strong is because other people helped you. You're not strong. You're still weak. You're still a Deku. With that, Izuku saying, say what you want. I don't care. You're nothing but a mad dog now. So we're done. Let's go, Mog. Saying, right, Kupo. As Mog disappears and Izuku continues walking away, as then the teachers now finally show up alongside a couple of students as well, with, with one of them saying, uh, Bakugo, are you okay? What happened? With Bakugo not saying anything, but him continue growling like crazy, saying, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! With him screaming to the heavens, like that of a mindless animal. Soon, months have now passed with only a couple of days left remain until the beginning of a new year within UA High. As Izuku continued his training and continued getting stronger, he soon got a message from Hatsume asking if the two, if, if you want to hang out before the neck before the next two days when UA when they start UA. But then Izuku actually blushing with saying, Sure, uh, where do you want to meet? With soon basically tell him to meet at Shibuya Station tomorrow. With Izuku basically blushing even more, saying, Sure, uh eleven thirty would do. After that soon she actually has that of a thumbs up emoji with that of a smiling face with soon Brent Hilder saying it seems you have now a date our summoner saying a date we're just hanging out remember we're just friends with soon Nick saying I doubt that's not that's doubt the case Izuku far from it more than anything but then she was saying Nick's is right you care about her. No, you actually like her like her more than just a friend. After this entire year, you've actually shown that you truly do care about her. Saying, we're just friends. I mean, I mean, we can't just fall for each other in just a year. We have to get to know each other. But then Odin cutting him off saying, I think you need to take the plunge, Izuku. Become more bold. Become more strong, become more great. You don't need to move fast, but just until, or you had to confess to her just off the off the will. Just say that you just you're interested in her. Just say that you want to spend more time with her, more than just friends. With that, Izuku saying, "I'll, I'll at least try." With Izuku really blushing really hard. But the next day, Izuku meets with Hatsume, 
as she's based, she's not in her usual well baggy pants and black tank top as always. Still have her goggles, but she's the more and she's now in more casual clothes as she's wearing that of a small green jacket with that of well her usual black tank top, but what but now wearing that of a well bl a red skirt with soon Izuku couldn't help but blush at her appearance as he's always just seen her in her usual well black and her usual inventor's gear inventor's outfits even saying that it's what she's normally wearing that she normally wears anyway with soon that's my saying my parents wouldn't basically tell me wouldn't let me go out the house unless I wore something different from my usual attire. So I wore this instead. I hope it's not too, well, classy or anything like that. It's saying, no, no, it it really looks good on you, Hatsume. With soon She's saying, oh, your clothes look interesting, Midoriya. It's saying, what? As it's still just his regular outfit with him wearing a short wearing regular shorts and a blue shirt that just says shirt in kanji with soon she's saying nah everybody has their own unique fa fashion style i can't complain i don't know anything about fashion at all with izuku saying oh okay but you're going to be a support developer that also means you're going to have to work on costumes too when that when you need to know saying you don't need to know fashion to work on work on costume babies after all nothing nothing where to worry about with easy saying okay so what would you come on there's a place i always wanted to check out it's on center street with izuku actually blushing pretty hard with hatsume grabbing his hand as it looks like they're holding hands with izuku blushing really really hard with Hatsume having noticed well on her face she hasn't noticed but internally she couldn't help but feel any happier knowing that she is well holding hands with Izuku with that they head to that of a shop to that of an old junk shop actually that's in that's in, on the main street of Shibuya with Izuku saying seriously you want you want us to come here, with the with her just nodding furiously. With that he's like saying, "Uh, not surprised. Come on, let's check it out." As they head into the old junk shop, she actually finds quite a bit of things that she wanted to check out. With most of it just being old antiques from a bygone era, but even so. She, it, she couldn't help but admire everything that's inside and repurpose it to be used for her babies. With that, Izuku and Hatsume leave the store with her having that of two bags of old junk that she could use for her new support devices. With then Izuku saying, you know, I've never actually seen your support devices before. You've never actually shown them off. Heck, you never. You only showed me the one that you plan on, that you planned on, well, using for your for the entrance exam for the support course. Saying, "Oh, really? Huh? That's weird." Well, if you like, before before we go to UA ne in the next couple of days, I can actually like to show you. You but you would need to come to my place though. With then Izuku blushing even more, saying, "Your y your place, but." Is it do I mean we've known each we haven't known each other that long, so saying <laughs> I don't mind, Doria. Really. I would actually I think my parents would be more would be more shocked than you showing that I actually brought somebody over that isn't old broken junk after all. With then Izuk saying, Well, I would love to. Saying, Cool, great. I'll send you the message later. See ya. With soon she running off with her bags down the down to the underground subway, about to head back to her place. Within, he's saying, ah, "Well, 
There goes my there goes my Sunday. With soon she coming back from the underground subway up the stairs, before kissing Izuku on the cheek, saying later Midoriya. With soon, Izuku is basically a red tomato mess. With soon passing out on the ground. Next couple of days, Izuku has see has actually went to Hatsume's parent Hatsume's place. As he got to meet her parents, who, just like Hatsume said, were shocked to see somebody, see Hatsume act, see May actually make a friend that wasn't a bunch of junk or her support device babies. With Izuku basically shown all of Hatsume's old gadgets. However, he has seen that there are multiple, well, scrapped inventions as well. Most of them look like they've exploded a couple m multiple times. With Izuku realizing that this girl has more trial, has more errors than successes when it comes to her support devices, which makes sense given that every time that he sees her, it seems like she was caught up in an explosion before looking, but trying to make sure that nobody has actually seen it though. But even so, it's part of her charm, and Izuku couldn't help but admire it. Would soon, the day, it's now time for the first day at UA High. With that, with Izuku now is it is basically been put in Class One A. With that, he soon heads to the massive H-shaped school, the school of his dreams, where he and his friend Hatsume will be going together, where he'll become one of the best heroes in the world, saving lives and protecting people, and she'll become the best support device inventor in the world as well. As Izuku basically tries to find Class 1A in the massive school, he finally arrives, seeing the giant door that's in front of him, with then him actually getting somewhat worried and sh worried wondering on who's going to be his classmates. However, after what he said to Bakugo, he soon shakes it off before saying, I'm ready. Come high or hell, I will become a hero. I won't let anyone stand in my way. With soon, he opens the door and he sees a sight that he's not surprised to as he sees both Ida and Bakugo arguing with each other. Ida arguing with Bakugo about him putting his feet on the desk. With soon Bakugo having the same condescending smirk as freaking always. Say, with Ida saying, what, are you think, what do you think you're doing? Remove your feet at once from this desk. This is where our predecessors once sat at. With saying, huh, seriously? You, re you must have a stick with your ass to think that you have a right to talk to me like that. With... Ida saying, uh, seriously? Uh, with then him clearing his throat saying, mm -mm. allow me to reintroduce myself. Uh, we've got on here on the wrong foot. My name is Tanya Ida from the Somme Private School Academy. And I, within Bakio's eyes wide saying, oh, Somme, hey? I bet that you think you're better than me just because you went to a rich boy school. I can't. Just letting you know, I can't wait to rip you a new one and put you in your place. With soon, Ida saying, What, you would threaten me? Your classmate? Are you sure you're in the right school? With soon, he's saying, no, he's in the right school. It's just surprising that somebody, that UA would allow an asshole like him in though. With then hearing this, everybody looks at the green at boy. With then, Bakuyo grits his teeth. And that of pure rage and anger flare up, saying, Dick you! With saying, Hey, Kachan, like I said, if we're both in the same classroom, I'm not gonna let you get in my way. With soon, Bakugo basically removes his feet from the desk and stands up, saying, Oh, really? Just letting you know we could go right here and now, and I'll blow your ass up in front of everybody to prove how much of a loser you are. With soon, both Ida standing between him and Izuku saying, Violence is not the issue here. With Soon saying, You, Midoriya, was it? Saying, uh, yes. Saying, 
and is soon bowing his head saying, you knew about the rescue points during the entrance exam, did you not? You, you had better foresight than I. Not only that, you were even willing to save that girl where I chose to run. You are a true hero, I must say. With soon Izuku actually getting a little bit nervous saying, well, I mean, don't get me wrong. I did want to save her, but I didn't really know about the rescue points. I was just trying to get enough points just to get in, that's all. It was the rescue points that really got me up to the number one spot in the entrance exam. With Sue Bakio getting frustrated saying, Damn rescue points. Seriously, who the hell would think of something so stupid? With that, Sue Bakio couldn't help but have that small tiny explosion popping in his palm. Oh, I know that messy hair from anyone. You're that, you're that horse boy. With then Izuki's eyes widening as he looks at a familiar rosy cheek face as it being Ochako Uraka saying, oh, and you're that girl and you're the girl that I helped out. Are you saying, ah, oh, don't worry, I'm doing OK. Thanks for saving me. I really appreciate it. With then Izuki saying, <laughs> I was just trying to help. That's all with soon saying, oh. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ochaka Uraka, and I'm looking forward to working alongside all of you here. With then, Izuku couldn't help but say, wow, she's quite bubbly, actually. I wonder if she would get along with Mei, though. With then Odin saying, we cannot say the hearts of females are quite a mysterious bunch. My old summoner and partner was a female, and she was quite... Well, unique in her own way. But every woman is different. That's all we can say, Izuku. Saying, yeah, I guess you're right. May has actually shown me that. With then Brynhilde saying, May you say? You haven't called her by her first name. All you've done is always called her by her last name. With then Izuku blushing. But everybody else can notice this. Saying, I mean... I, with soon, a man outside the, outside the hallway saying, if you're only here to make friends, you're in the wrong place. With soon, looking outside, they see that of a man that looks like a caterpillar. However, he's just in a sleeping bag. As he brings out his arm and it shows in his hand that he has a juice pack. As soon he drinks it saying, Ugh, let's get this over with. As soon as he comes out of the, well, sleeping bag, he soon walks past our, the three students and then goes to the podium saying, Hello, my name is Mr. Aizawa. I'll be your homeroom teacher from this day on. Also, just letting you know, this UA has a different curriculum than many other schools, even other hero schools as well. So, be prepared for anything to happen. Got it? But soon, he pulls out his sleeping, pulls something from his sleeping bag saying, Here, put these on. We're going to be having that of a physical fitness test to begin this day off. So, and I expect you all not to be tardy. With, within hearing this, everybody couldn't help but gulp. And some couldn't help but feel excited. And some are just confused as hell. As for Izuku, he is confused prepared, and somewhat worried at the same time. But he won't let it interrupt his dream of becoming a hero. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to read them. Also, like I said, if this video can get up to at least 800 views and 50 likes in the next couple of in the next week, I'll continue the series. I'll replace it with show, with what if Izuku what had Cloud Strike's powers, and I'll make it a mainstay series. So, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. To keep up to date my videos when I upload, and also check out my Discord, my gaming channel, my pa my side channel, and my Patreon. All link in the description below. So, with all that said. 
This is Leon Moki, signing out. Later, guys. Shiro, finish it off, my girl. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you like Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye! <laughs>